Some of you seem to like the recent Ghost Adventure React video where I reacted to some weird ghost hunting show where they went into a cave to find a witch. So today I'm going to react to another episode of Ghost Adventures. This time a dog is apparently going to help somehow. I have no idea. I'm so excited. And last time I had troubles getting the video out due to like the copyright. So make sure to like this video because I'm sure I'll have the same issue. And without further ado, let's get into it. I sense that the old hag is still lingering and hunting for its next victim. The video just started, we're insulting the old hag, I guess that's who we're looking for today. So they're already starting shit, and this dude is just like sleeping on the bed, relaxing. He definitely is not here to hunt the ghost. That or he is the ghost, <laughs> like just hiding in the background. Could you imagine? And with this level of energy in play, we can't abandon it. So the guys grab some additional gear while I decide to bring in a highly specialized piece of equipment. That's not very often we get to use a canine. Who's no stranger to the paranormal. Okay, right now, um, I don't know why, but I have Gracie here with me on this trip. What the fuck? That's, uh, that's the introduction to the dog. I thought the dog would just be there and she will like run out from like the camera crew area. But no, they hype up this dog that apparently has experience ghost hunting like this is the ghostbusters equivalent of the dog ward and then after that little mini hype this dude just has the dog and he's like yo i don't know why i'm freaking bringing this to you but you know i got the dog and gracie senses a lot of stuff at my house a lot of things so i want to see if gracie can feel anything up here wait you're the ghost hunter and you have paranormal shit going on at your own house and you can't put a stop to it and I'm supposed to trust your opinion here? Do you see anything? And after a preliminary sweep of the area, I'm shocked by what Gracie senses. What are you doing? What the heck? What? Can I leave? What, what does that mean? It's the know. same room the other, what's her name had, uh, was in. This behavior is very atypical for Gracie, and I believe she is trying to warn me from stepping further into the room where Roxy was attacked by the old hag. Whoa. Whoa. This is not typical behavior for your dog. Your dog never pounces on you or anything like that. Also, dude, you have your hand up. I don't know, like, couldn't I, like, make the dog pop up on you? Listen, I don't have a dog, so I'm kind of just judging from what I know about dogs. Uh, I don't know. This doesn't seem like odd behavior. But I will be honest, I rewinded it a second, because, like, the dog's jump back did have me confused for a moment. And listen, I'm not just trying to be like, oh, there's no ghost or anything like that. There's no hag here. All I'm saying is that the show... It's definitely staging this little bit. If there is a ghost or a hag or whatever here, I'm not sure. To see Gracie quickly jump back tells me there is something inside room 7 that's not friendly. And then what happens next shocks us all. No, look at her, look at her. Look. She keeps looking at something in this corner over here. Look at the ears. The ears tell everything. What do you see, Gracie? And with the heightened senses that canines have, could she actually see the old hag? Whatever or whoever the entity is that Gracie sees, she suddenly backs out of the room again, and now I'm concerned for her safety. You know, I was gonna make a joke that I saw the old hag, you know, in like the little edited in person in the costume thing, like, that's a joke. But, I don't know, unless they're doing a lot of cuts here, I will give them this. At least in that cut, I don't see anyone in the room. And it's a pretty small room. But how Gracie acted when backing away, like the like head down, looking sad. That's a bit weird, I would have to say. Like, I don't know how they would get the dog to do that. I'm sure some dog expert could know. But someone who doesn't have a dog, like, I don't, that, that's weird. So I'll give you a little credit there. But I didn't know that dog's heightened senses can hunt ghosts. I thought it was just Gracie. My apologies to all dogs for, for assuming that. You okay? 
You want to get out of here? Look, every time. Daddy leaves. Every That's... single time I get into this room, she jumps into me and grabs my hand, like trying to walk me out. For all the years I've been with Gracie, I've never seen such fear in her eyes. Are you seeing things? Are you sensing things? And that tells me whatever is nesting on the second floor of this saloon is truly evil. I just witnessed my own dog staring into a dark corner of a room, and that was really disturbing for me. Knowing Gracie and knowing that she can sense things and living in an extremely haunted house with me years ago, I know that she knows when something is there in the room that isn't flesh and blood and bone. What was like that little arm pack thing? <laughs> What was that? The dog did look scared when, like, in his lap. But I don't know. Like, I don't want to be mean to this dude and how he explains things. Just, like, the sound of, like, my dog staring in a dark corner of a room randomly. That, that terrifies me. It's kind of like, yo, I stare out into the distance randomly sometimes. I'm sure dogs do the same thing. But I did hear, like, before, I... Now that I remember, I do think some people said, like, cats or something see paranormal shit. I think I heard someone say that. So maybe it could work the same with dogs? I try to go into this show with an open mind. That's why even last time I didn't say my opinion on if I think ghosts are real. So because of what we experienced upstairs, I want to immediately head back up there and continue investigating. I am going to keep the lights on and use a full spectrum camera to start off. So I want to see if we can capture anything with our eyes and our cameras. Anything moving or the old hag manifesting in her chair. As I start snapping photos, I try to lure the spirits out by using direct communication. We're here for you. These cameras are for you. If you appeared for a long time to Roxy, I don't know how cameras catch ghosts though. You can't see with your eyes. I always thought they just took the pictures so that like, they have proof. But I guess cameras see ghosts better. Maybe he has a special camera. I don't know. I'm just kind of curious of who had the balls to put the chairs in that room. <laughs> like they were like too scared to go in and like the dog is stopping you. So what intern from the travel channel was still like, okay, go into the haunted room, come on, put it in the chair. We, we gotta get the hat to sit down. Also, why is this dude, and I'm pretty sure it's the same dude, sitting around in every shot he is on camera? And we're in this like old freaking house with like a modern vacuum. Did the show bring it? Does the intern also have to vacuum? Whoa, whoa. Feel it right in front of me. Feel it right in front of me right here. It just got ice cold. It's front of the camera. It's not like it's right here. Yeah, yeah. Feel it right. It's right here yeah. now. It's right here. Yep. Oh wow. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Oh, stay shit. there. No, screw you, dude. I wouldn't stay there. I'd be like, fuck that. Why don't you stay there? I'll take the picture. What was that? What just went by me? What do you mean? Something just went right by my eye. I was watching you. I didn't see anything. You didn't see anything? No, I swear. I thought it was like a feather or something floating. It went right here like this, right? Right real close to my eye. Whoa, we don't even get to see the pictures or anything. At least we got to see the dude actually do his job and play some sort of impact. Not just sitting around. I am interested to see where this episode goes. I don't know if there's other clips of it on YouTube. But if you have any sort of clip from this show or another ghost hunting show, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you guys get to watch this one. I had a lot of fun filming it. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And make sure to have a good night. I'm done with hitting your wall Sure notice, I just gotta let you know You let me straight to the fall I'm broken, I'm still trying skin and bones